All right, this is if you have a disassembled nook. We got the back case, the front case. Um, I don't even know what they call this, the back of the actual device. The LG LCD screen. And what hosts the rest of the hardware. I, you could call it a motherboard, I guess. Then we have all of our Torx 5 screws. And we've got the power and volume buttons. You're going to need a Torx T5 screwdriver and something small. Uh, this isn't completely necessary, but it's good to have. Okay, let's start with putting the LCD back onto the motherboard. Have it facing this side where you see the six shiny gold things. Um, slide these two silver connector or silver screw holes, whatever you want to call them, under that wire. There we go. And make sure everything, especially these right here on each side, those have to line up perfectly. You're not going to be able to get it back together. So once you get all of those lined up, which I am having trouble with, very difficult because it's sticky. Once you get it set, it kind of stays. All right, there we go. Flip it upside down. Go ahead and do this connector first. Line it up and just push it on. Now, to tape this down, first of all, make sure this is kind of out of the way. Just slide your thumb across. You need this to be flat or there's going to be a bulge in the case of the screen when you put it back together or I guess the back of the screen, you don't want that, of course. Now on this side, pull the tape back. Here's where you use this. Lift that little flip, or the lid up, and insert this piece into that connector until it goes in all the way. There we go. Then flip it closed and lay the tape back over. I've got the LCD on. The, LC or the device is going to be a little difficult to pick up because there is tape on the front of the LCD that keeps the front cover on. So just use something to pry it out. There we go. Alright, everything. Actually, this came a little off a line. That's not good. Must have done that one to pull it off. Perfect. Okay. Next step is to get the back cover or back case off. On. Um. Put it LCD side down. I'm actually going to use a piece of paper to put the LCD on so it won't stick to the table. There we go. And. Let's line everything up. Make sure that power button, you don't do anything bad with it. Let's see, it should be facing that way. Doesn't really matter right now, we'll fix that later. There are two things, if you watch the disassembly video, these are the two things I had to work with to take this off. All right, now you'll see they have little foam tops on them. What we're going to need to do is line the pins up with the connector underneath and this took me a long time to get the first time I did it but I realized the second time I could actually use a little force and nothing bad would happen um, so line up the pins and use something to just push it down that one was the volume buttons and here's the battery this one always gives me a little more trouble line up the pins It never wants to push down as easily. There we go. Got it in. Okay, I'm not, you probably can't hear that. I hear a little a high pitched noise, which is the Nook powering up. Once again, badly broken LCD screen. Uh, we're going to continue with the back of the device. 
let's go ahead and take those screws that we had from earlier put them all back in no I lied we're not doing that yet hopefully you didn't pause pause right after that let's get that screw out don't like that this is on but oh well not too big of a deal press the power button there we go um, we need to put the front cover on and before we're going to do that we're going to want to slide the power button in make sure it's right side up and you'll see the little hook the hook on the power button goes down make sure also that the blue physical power button on this part lines up with the button that will push it on the plastic power button there that's in place and then the volume keys you'll do the same thing the hook goes on the bottom make sure plus is on top and for me the volume keys didn't get dislocated when I was taking the case off in the first place so you don't have to worry about lining them up uh, it doesn't really press correctly until you get everything else on okay this goes on fairly easy push everything down if you want to hold it up and make sure everything is in it's probably a good idea but for the most part everything fits really well oh make sure the cord right there doesn't block the hole obviously that'd be bad if you put too much pressure on it break the cord there we go, everything's looking well. Flip it upside down. Now we put all the screws in. All right. Now the back cover, just as easy to put on. You know what? Done. As you can see, everything works fine, besides my absolute inability to put that back case on. If you're thinking the touchscreen wasn't working, no, it was just Launcher Pro doesn't seem to be responding at all. Or there's a dialogue right there. There we go. Yay. No SD card. I was looking for some way for you to hear the sound. Oh. Alright. Hopefully, if anything, you laughed as I struggled for an extended amount of time. Uh, and hopefully, whatever reason, you took your nook apart. Was successful if you had to replace the LCD like me. Which, as you can see, I didn't actually do. don't have the part yet, but... Anyways, thanks for watching.